We have uh, Waymo. Did you guys see this? In San Francisco, the power went out. So let me let me let me tell you, let me let me paint y'all a picture. Now listen, I am heavily invested in Google. It's my my top individual holding now. Um, it's even surpassed from 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 like total amount now. Uh, it's even surpassed Palantir. So here you go. Let me give you all a little update. So, all right, let me tell you all about Waymo. All right, so everybody knows Waymo, right? Google owns Waymo. They uh, they they single handedly put crews out of um out of uh, uh out of business right so owned by google and it's robo taxis right robo taxis if you're not familiar they're a bunch of uh cars right and then they've got you know i'm not really good at drawing cars but and they got a bunch of fucking cameras lidars and cameras on them that go everywhere and there's no driver right there's no driver all right, so you get in there and the computer and all of the little sensors and everything it's got the maps it's got the lidar it's got everything and it drives itself. A little bit freaky, but hey, it, it, it is what it is, okay? And so, this, this, these vehicles drive around, and they're doing really good. We're talking hundreds of thousands of trips a week, millions a month. They single-handedly put GM's crews out of business. Tesla is so far behind on these, it's not even funny. They are, they are fucking, they're doing great. The problem is, is that you need to convince people to do it because it's new, right? People are scared of new things, whether it's because there's no person that's a driver or it's because that it's run by computers and we've seen movies like iRobot and all these other shit, right? So like people get a little scared. So you need positive PR. So what happened? Waymo runs over a cat, a beloved Waymo cat, uh, a bodega cat, okay? Runs over a cat, kills a, a loved bo bodega cat. That's some bad PR, but that's okay because... A week later, a woman gives birth in the back of a Waymo. True story. Whether it was she was an employee and planted there, I don't know. But that PR team at Google went into overdrive. And that story went everywhere. Now, the good news is, is that it, a cat didn't give birth in the back of a, of a Waymo and a pregnant bodega woman was struck and killed, right? So this is how PR works, okay? Because it's still a process. There's things that are happening, right? It's technology. It's new. But let me tell you about what happened in San Francisco this weekend. San Francisco, which is like the, the, the hub for Waymo, had a power outage. And what happens when the city's grid goes down? Traffic lights stop working. Oftentimes, it's a blinking red if it has an emergency backup. Or it's just out altogether. Well, when you have thousands of vehicles that rely on traffic signals to operate and there's no traffic signals, what do they do? They stop working. They just sit there. And so you had thousands of Waymos just sitting there at intersections. Now, if you think it was bad, now not only did it cause of backups and delays, all the people waiting on Waymos couldn't get them either. So that put a backlog, very bad PR. Now, let me tell you a little story. If you want to see an example of what anarchy looks like and why anarchy is not the dream you think it is. I want you to go to any city where there is either a four-way stop sign or more importantly, traffic lights that go out at a busy intersection. And I want you to see what happens. I want you to just see what happens. Don't even, just pull your car to the side and if you got 10 minutes and just watch what happens. Usually it's a very simple thing, right? Stop sign, first person there has right away. Okay, now depending on your lane, right turn has right away to left oncoming, right? But we don't get into that. You don't want to get into all that. You just want to get into the, to the simple thing, right? First person there gets there. The problem is, is that not everybody believes that. And number two, is it one car at a time? What if there's five cars here and two cars and, and two cars here? Is it they go, then they go, then they go, then they go? Or is it the two go and then the three go in the next wait? Who knows? What if this guy gets in line? It is complete fucking anarchy it is insane what happens when you see this now add some fucking dead vehicles to the mix let chaos run supreme the issue is is that you have all these personalities and even if somebody is right or wrong you could have this person was here first but they're just a really good person they're not in a hurry so they get there first this person pulls up they're supposed to go but they're like no no you go and they're like, no, no, you go. No, no, you go. Now you're delayed. Finally, this person goes. This guy who's in a hurry just saw this person not take their time, you know, take their time and not go. And now they're pissed off. So when they get there, they immediately go. 
which then stops, makes this per. You see what I mean? It is insane. It is absolutely fucking chaos every time. If you think I'm kidding or you think I'm not serious, you've either never lived in a city or you're not the driver. It's like this idea where it's like Murphy's Law, right? Every time you're driving on an interstate or a highway, no matter what lane you choose, the other one is moving faster. Okay, happened to me in TSA yesterday. I chose a line. I was like, I don't want to get behind, you know, these all these these Jewish families. They've got like a lot of kids. They got like a lot of stuff they got to take out. I'll, I'll get behind this other one. So I go to the other line, and then the machine goes down. They switch machines, and then they bring a bunch of wheelchairs in. I'm like, God fucking damn it, right? That's not the fact that they're Jewish. It's just that when when you see large like Jewish families, they like the Hasidic Jewish families, like they 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 have like they have like they try to stay in one big group, and so oftentimes there's a lot of like moving and there's a lot of stuff that they're carrying. So like you just think it. It's like if it was an Indian family, right? Like like if they're, if they're older Indian family and they have a lot of people in wheelchairs, it's like okay, it's going to be longer to get on the board. If it's a bunch of you know rednecks from the south, I'm like, well, one of them's going to smart off to the TA, TSA agent. The other one's going to leave fucking their chain on their wallet and it's going to back us up because of the fucking um uh the metal detector okay if i get a fucking group of people from you know canada all right one of them is not going to have their passport correct okay somebody from somewhere in the caribbean they're going to be smuggling in fucking fruit that they're not supposed to have it always happens all right welcome welcome to the airport ladies and gentlemen all right moving on florida airport experience maybe it's just well yeah because you understand in florida there's a lot of people coming up from south america and a lot of people um when they come from you know, South American countries, they have different laws and it doesn't convert the same way. And so when it's their first time, they'll bring things over. And honestly, it's not just, it's not just the people from there. Do you know how many times people from America go to these places and are like, oh, I just want to bring a coconut back. I'm from, I'm from Minnesota. We don't have coconuts in Minnesota. And so like, they'll bring a coconut back from their trip to the Barbados. And like, everyone has to wait an hour because they're like acting dumb. All right, moving on. So no matter what lane you choose, the other lane is always moving faster. Always feels that way, right? Always feels that way. And the other old saying is, people in front of you are idiots. People behind you are assholes, right? Because people in front of you are moving too damn slow. And the people behind you are always going too damn fast. God, it's so fucking slow. You're gonna get out of my way. You're in the wrong lane. The person behind us, oh, asshole, why are you rolling so fast? Well, I'm doing 80, I'm doing 10 over the speed limit. You're doing 20 over. And then he's thinking, you're an idiot. Welcome to how this shit works. Why? What am I talking about? How did this get started? Oh, Waymo. Yeah, so Waymo is having a lot of bad PR right now with this. Because a lot of people who are like forgetting that these are machines that need all this are, re are getting reminded right now. I don't get road rage anymore. I get upset, but I don't get road rage anymore. Like, I don't say anything to people.